was a result of the 2016 yeah. election. There were some staffers in D.C. who were perhaps unhappy with the way the election came out. Um, and they got together and wrote a guide for how to resist. Um, from that point, um, Indivisible sort of took off across the country. Here in Iowa, the Indivisible groups have been organized by the state senate district. So in Cedar Rapids, that includes the senate district 33, 34, and 35. Uh, that would be Rob Hope's district, Senator Math Matheson's district, and now Todd Taylor's district. Um, we um, are a fairly loosely organized group of individuals. We call ourselves the Resisters and the Persisters. <laughs> we are the people who show up whenever there is a progressive issue or progressive cause that we support. Um, as Greg referred to earlier, um, as he was talking about moving to amend, uh, basically we have a, a similar philosophy and individual. We basically need to move, need to build a movement, and that's what Indivisible has become. Um, in the two years since its inception, uh, our local groups have been involved in a number of uh, issues um, around the state and national issues. Uh, we support progressive issues like the right to join unions, we support public education, we support uh, women's right to choose their own health care, um, issues like that. We support um, immigration and welcoming refugees into our country. Uh, we've had several initiatives. Um, we, we like to hold our elected representatives accountable for their actions or their inactions. Um, most famously, we were probably the loudest voice opposing Rob Blum um, as we approached. Uh, we, you maybe heard him refer to this group of, this small group of uh, paid protesters or <laughs> resistors. By George uh, Soros. I, I wish we were paid, but, um, <laughs> but it just wasn't the case. But we launched a pretty concerted effort to hold him accountable for not showing up mm. in public forums, for not having a, an accessible office staff for constituents. Um, we wrote upwards of 5,000 postcards to constituents to just call him out on his bad votes, to call him out on not showing up. So uh, the long story short here, and, and why I'm responding to Greg's presentation, is because of these grassroots effort, grassroots efforts. I think do they do work if you show up and you speak up, and whether we're talking about Rod Blum or whether we're talking about overthrowing Citizens United, that's the important thing. We have to show up. We have to speak up. Um, and the fact that you're here, that you did show up, is half the battle. So now the next step is to use your voice. And as we found it indivisible, the things that work best are communicating to your friends and your neighbors and your community members. However that works for you. It might be a conversation over coffee. It might be a letter to the editor. It might be writing a postcard to your elected officials. But now that you're here, the next step is to actually speak up for move to amend or for whatever your issue is. Um, if you're interested in joining Indivisible, uh, speak to me later and, and we can get that worked out. Um, we've got about 400 members in our Facebook group. We've got a pretty solid core of people right here in the 